Hey family, thank you all so much for tuning in. I hope that you're doing well. Listen, the Lord is very serious about granting you the desires of your heart. So as you have taken delight in him, he has put what he desires for you inside of your heart. And then those are the things that you want. Okay. And so the Lord, he's so awesome. Last week, as I was going about my day to day, he began to highlight certain things that I like, whether I saw it on TV, whether I saw it pop up on social media, whether I saw it while I was out and about in the store, what have you. He began to highlight these specific things. And a part of me got kind of sad because I'm like, oh Lord, like, you know, I've been waiting, like, come on, right? And the spirit of the Lord spoke to me and he said, you are headed that way. You are headed that way. And so I want to share that with you to let you know you are headed that way because you have submitted yourself to the Lord because you are being still and waiting patiently for him. And he's been telling a lot of you to be still too in this aspect of waiting for him to to give you vindication for what he has promised you. He doesn't want you prospering in your own way. He doesn't want you doing it yourself. He doesn't want you eating the bread of anxious toil. He wants to build the house for you, okay? He doesn't want you laboring in vain. He's getting everything set up. This is why he's saying you're headed that way. And this is why he continues to show you these things. This is why he continues to highlight the desires of your heart so that you don't give up, so that you don't faint, so that your heart doesn't faint, so that you reap the harvest in due time. Thank you, Holy Spirit. So the word of God tells us in Psalm 37, 11, that the meek or the submissive will inherit the land and they will delight themselves in abundant prosperity. And this is what the Lord wants to give you. This is what Jesus came to give you, that you live a life and live a life more abundantly. And so he's been working on your mindset so that you can accept these great things that he's placed on the inside of your heart. So yes, you are seeking the kingdom first and his righteousness. You're in right standing with him and all other things will be added to you. He's already doing the work on the inside of you with your character. Character. He's already tested that. He's changing your mindset about things. He's scrubbing you and polishing you up and getting rid of religion. He's getting rid of mediocrity. He's getting rid of small thinking, okay? Because he is a big God. And so he's getting your mind prepared. He's stretching you out. Larger capacity is what he was speaking last week. And so he's stretching you out on this is an inside out job. So he's stretching you. He's stretching you mentally. He's stretching you spiritually so that you have room to receive what he has placed in your heart. Those desires that are inside of your heart, things that you want, those things you've been praying for, those things you've been hoping for, those things you've been waiting for, those things that you've been like, Lord, why them and not me? He's saying, be still and wait on me. You are headed that way. You are headed that way. So I want to encourage you to continue to delight yourself in the Lord, to continue to commit your ways to him. And he's going to give you the vindication. He's going to do it in a way to where it brings him glory, in a way to where you can share in that glory, in a way so that it can bring honor to his name. And in all of that, you'll be able to be an even greater blessing to those around you, those you don't know, like you're blessed to be a blessing and you're headed that way. So continue to do what you're doing right now at the level you're on as you continue to grow in God, as he continues to grow and stretch you, you'll walk right into what God has placed on your heart. And I'll just share something with you guys in transparency. As I was searching for a house some years ago, I remember praying for what I wanted in the house, but then I remember having thoughts about certain little things that I wanted. Like I wanted the iron spindles on the steps and I, I wanted a jacuzzi, but I wasn't really sure I would get a house with a jacuzzi, you know, and just all these little things I wasn't really pressed to pray about. I just wanted a beautiful home and I knew I wanted to look out of my window and see other beautiful homes around me, but I, I wasn't pressed to pray for that. Well, long story short, the Lord gave me every desire. Those were the desires on my heart, the desires on my mind, my heart that he placed in there because he knows what I like. He knows what you like. So even those little things that you haven't even spoken out of your mouth, as the scripture says, before it even comes out of your mouth, I will answer you. And so this is what what God is going to do. He's going to answer you before you can even speak it out. He's already done it. It's already answered. And you're going to receive the manifestation of that if you do not grow faint in heart, if you do not give up before harvest time. My God. So I am so excited for you. The Lord says you're headed that way. Just know that whenever he begins to continue to place 
the vision of where you're going is just a reminder for you. So don't get sad like I was, kind of sad and like, come on, Lord, you know, we're human beings. So it's like, okay, we want what we want sometimes, but don't get saddened, right? Just continue to trust God, continue to lean on him. Those who trust in the Lord are like Mount Zion. They are not moved. So don't be moved by what you don't materially see just yet. Just know that God is so gracious that he'll continue to show you where you're headed and you will make it to that place if you do not faint, if you do not give up. You are headed that way in Jesus' name.